One of the most popular television shows of all time was The Andy Griffith Show. The show was so famous that it's still one of the most popular classic television shows even today. It had some of the best writers and directors in the industry. They laid the foundation of the show, but everything pretty much went through Andy himself. Andy had creative control when it came to most of the things on the show. If he wanted to change the scripts, he could. If he wanted to rewrite the script lines, he could. He could throw away lines if he really wanted to. Basically, it was his show and it was his vision. As much control as he had, Andy didn't always have the final say on the show. From time to time, he had to agree with what the showrunner Sheldon Leonard wanted, and Leonard really wanted a certain character that Andy didn't agree with. So who was this character, and why did Andy hate the idea of the character? We'll get back to that in a minute, but first a little more background. And some were in it. Some were in it. She says, Romeo, Romeo. She says, what for art thou, Romeo? Uh And he popped up and says, I'm right here. In the years before the show, Andy Griffith was a stand-up comedian as well as an actor and expected to be the show's funny man. He even performed his stand-up routine in the first few episodes. After Don Knotts joined the show, Don became so popular and beloved that Andy decided to take a back seat to Don for the good of the show, and he became Barney's straight man. Now, the minute it looks like there's going to be trouble, we got to nip it! Nip it in the bud! Nip it! Let's hear it! Nip it! Back. <laughs> the series premiered in October of 1960, but the characters of Sheriff Andy Taylor and his son Opie were actually first shown a full eight months earlier on The Danny Thomas Show in February of 1960 in an episode titled Danny Meets Andy Griffith. Frances Bavier was also introduced in that episode, but not as Aunt B. She played a different character named Henrietta Perkins who was in trouble for not paying her taxes for two years. When producer Sheldon Leonard and Andy were looking to cast Aunt B, they offered it first to Madge Blake, who's best known for playing Aunt Harriet on Batman. She turned down the part as she was under contract with Leave it to Beaver, but she recommended her friend Francis Bavier. The original premise of the show was to have Andy Griffith not only be the sheriff of Mayberry, but also the justice of the peace, the editor of the local newspaper, and the town's mayor. Anybody here know why these two should not be wed? Speak now or forever hold your peace. When it came time to write and film the series, Andy thought it was simply too weird of a concept. So he had Sheriff Taylor be just the sheriff and the justice of the peace. But he only appeared in that role on rare occasions. So when Sheldon Leonard insisted the show needed another character, normally Andy would just smile and go along with it. However, when Leonard decided that Sheriff Taylor should have a boss, namely a mayor, it resulted in a huge disagreement. Since Andy wasn't playing the role of mayor anymore, Leonard won out in the end, but that didn't mean Griffith had to like it. In fact, he hated the character. You'd never know it from watching the series, though, as Andy was a true professional. Andy wasn't against having a boss figure. He liked the concept of having a boss, but he hated the idea that his boss was a mayor, who would normally have been in charge of the local police department if Mayberry had one. But sheriffs are elected county officials. A mayor has no authority over a sheriff. Andy was really bothered by that detail. During the show's run, Mayberry had two different mayors. Mayor Pike was Mayberry's first mayor, He made his debut appearance in the episode The Manhunt, which was the second episode in the show's first season. During the first two seasons of The Andy Griffith Show, Mayor Pike appeared in only 11 episodes. Pike's character left the show because the actor who played him, Dick Elliott, died midway through the second season. On screen, his departure was never mentioned. Then, in season three, Mayor Roy Stoner appeared. Parley Bear portrayed Roy Stoner, He only appeared in seven episodes, though, as Griffith didn't like the addition of a mayor to the series. 
That wasn't the only issue going on at the time, though. Although Andy disliked the mayor role, someone in the cast wasn't very happy either. That someone was Francis Bavier, better known as Aunt B. Bavier was very sensitive, and after a while, she resented her role as Aunt B. She considered herself a serious actor, and a supporting role in a light-hearted sitcom didn't really appeal to her. Unfortunately for her, though, by the early 1960s, film roles had started to dry up and theater roles were scarce. Griffith and Ron Howard famously went to visit Bavier in 1972 at her North Carolina home, but she sent them away, refusing to see them. It wasn't until she was dying in 1989 that she called Andy and told him she regretted the fact that they didn't get along. They had finally made peace with each other. In an interview, Bavier revealed that it is very difficult for an actress to create a role and to be so identified with the role that as a person you no longer exist and all the recognition you get is for a part that you created on the screen. The Andy Griffith Show finally ended after eight highly successful seasons and 249 episodes. The series never dropped below seventh place in the Nielsen ratings, and it finished its last season at number one. Griffith never won any awards himself, but Don Knotts and Francis Bavier had a combined total of six Emmy Awards. Although the show continued for three more years as Mayberry RFD with actor Ken Berry, the show was sadly canceled with CBS's Rural Purge in 1971, canceling shows like The Beverly Hillbillies, Green Acres, Hee Haw, and Mayberry RFD. There was also a reunion telemovie in 1986 called Return to Mayberry, which was the highest rated television movie of that year. Many original cast members reprised their roles for the film, except for one glaring absence, that of Aunt B. Frances Bavier was approached for the part, but because she was ill at the time, turned it down. The success of the movie could have resulted in additional Mayberry episodes, but Griffith was already committed to doing Matlock for the 1986-87 season. In an ironic twist, Griffith starred in a short-lived sitcom in 1971 with Lee Merriweather, where he played the part of Mayor Andy Sawyer in the small city of Greenwood, North Carolina. Guest appearances by Don Knotts, George Lindsay, and Paul Hartman, with Lindsay and Hartman playing Goober and Emmett, made the first episode a huge success for CBS. Unfortunately, ratings declined rapidly over the next few weeks, and the show was canceled with the rest of the CBS rural purge. You cut out, you cut out. Were you a fan of The Andy Griffith Show? What are some of your favorite episodes or moments on the show? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and tune in for more classic TV, movie, and pop culture reviews and retrospectives on Rerun Zone. Goodbye for now.